Good day, sir. Today, we will be discussing another topic, which is the endocrine system. Now, what is the endocrine system? The endocrine system, also referred to as hormone system, are found in all mammals, birds, fish, and many other types of living organisms. It is a complex network of glands and organs. It uses hormones to control and coordinate your body's metabolism, energy level, produ reproduction, growth and development, and response to injury, stress, and mood. The following are integral parts of the endocrine system. Hypothalamus. This gland is located in your brain and controls your endocrine uh, system. It uses information from your nervous system to determine when to tell other glands, including the pituitary gland to reproduce hormones. It controls many processes in your body, including your mood, hunger, and thirst sleep patterns and sexual function pituitary this little glance is only about the size of a, a pea and but it has a big job it makes hormones that control several other glands such as the thyroid glands uh, adrenal glands ovaries and testicles the pituitary gland is in charge of many different functions including how your body goes and is located at the base of your brain. Thyroid, your thyroid is a butterfly shaped gland in the front of your neck. It's responsible for your metabolism. Parathyroid, this, uh, your tiny glands are no, lo uh, no larger than a grain of rice. They control the level of calcium in your body. For your heart, kidneys, bones, and nervous system to work, you need the right amount of calcium. Adrenal, uh, you have two adrenal glands, one on top of, the kidney, uh, of each kidney. They control your metabolism blood pressure, sexual development, and response to stress. Penal. This gland manages your sleep uh, cycle by releasing amelatonin, a hormone that causes you, uh, you to feel sleepy. Pancreas. Your pancreas is part uh, of your endocrine system and it plays a significant role in your digestive system too. It makes a hormone called uh, insulin that controls the level of sugar in your blood. Ovaries. In women, the ovaries release sex hormones called estrogen, uh, progester uh, progesterone, and testos testosterone. Uh, women have two ovaries in their lower abdomen, one on other side. And testes in men, the testes test or testicles, make uh, sperm and release the hormone testosterone. This hormone affects sperm production, muscle strength, and sex drive. As I have said earlier, and the pin system is made up of several organs called glands. This glands located all uh, all over our body create and uh, secrete or release hormones. Hormones are chemicals that coordinate different functions in our body by carrying messages through the blood to the organs, skin, muscle, and other tissues. These signals tell our bodies uh, what to do and when to do, to do it. And now, uh, what does the endocrine system do and how does it work? The endocrine system continually, uh, continuously uh, monitors the moment of hormones in our blood. Hormones deliver their messages by locking into the cells they target so they can uh, relay the message 
for example, the pituitary gland senses when your hormone levels rise and tells other glands to stop producing and releasing hormones when hormone uh, levels dip uh, below a certain point and the uh, pituitary gland can uh, instruct other glands to produce and release more hormones affect uh, nearly every process in your body including metabolism growth and development emotions and mood uh, fertility and sexual function sleep blood pressure Sometimes glands produce too much or not enough of a hormone. This imbalance can cause health problems such as weight gain, high blood pressure, and changes in sleep. Mood and behavior many things can affect how your body creates and releases hormones. Illness, stress, and certain medication can cause a hormone imbalance what conditions and disorders affect the endocrine system so dozens of conditions can cause issues in the endocrine system these conditions can lead to health problems all over the body some of the most common disorders are diabetes this endocrine disorder affects the way your body uses the energy from the food you eat it develops when the pancreas doesn't make enough of a hormone called insulin or insulin doesn't work as it should thyroid disorders several conditions can affect the function of the thyroid gland hypothyroidism happens when the thyroid doesn't produce enough hormones and hyperthyroidism occurs when it creates too many hormones hypogonadism low testosterone in men hypogonadism can cause erectile dysfunction it can also cause memory and concentration problems changes in muscle strength and low sex drive polycystic ovary syndrome or PCOS a hormonal imbalance causes women uh, with PCOS to have irregular periods, abnormal hair growth, excess acne, and weight gain. Estroporosis. Uh, when a woman's ovaries don't produce enough estrogen, bones become brittle and weak. In the given video, the woman had a disease called uh, autoimmune Graves disease, which is an uh, immune system disorder that results in the overproduction of thyroid hormones. Hyperthyroidism, although a number of disorders may result in hyperthyroidism graves disease is a common cause. The thyroid is a small butterfly shaped gland in the front of your neck thyroid hormones control the way your body uses energy so they affect nearly every organ in your body even the way your heart beats so signs and symptoms of Graves uh, disease can be wide-ranging although Graves disease may affect anyone it's more common among women and people younger than age 40 and what causes Graves disease uh, researchers aren't you sure why some people develop autoimmune, uh, autoimmune disorder uh, such as Graves disease disorders probably develop from a combination of genes and an outside trigger such as a virus. With thus, your immune system makes an antibody called thyroid stimulating uh, immunoglobulin immunoglobulin or TSI that attaches to your thyroid cells. TSI acts like thyroid stimulating hormones or TSH, a hormone made in your pituitary glands that tells your thyroid how much thyroid hormones to make. Uh, TSI causes your uh, thyroid to make too much thyroid hormone.
and if you have this kind of disease talk with your healthcare professional about what can help you and what's best for you it will be all thank you